M3 Pro chip, barely faster than M2 Pro in unverified benchmark result. Apple's new M3 Pro chip with a 12-core CPU offers only marginally faster CPU performance compared to the M2 Pro chip with a 12-core CPU, according to a Geekbench 6 result spotted today by Vadim Yuryev, co-host of the YouTube channel MaxTech. This is only a single benchmark result, so further results are needed to ensure accuracy. Apple announced new 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro models with M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max chips on Monday. This benchmark result appears to be for the 14-inch model, based on the Mac 15 6 model identifier listed. The result shows the M3 Pro has a single-core score of 3,035 and a multi-core score of 15,173. If these scores are accurate, the M3 Pro is up to 14% faster than the M2 Pro in terms of single-core performance, but only up to 6% faster in terms of multi-core performance for the most demanding tasks and workflows. Both the M2 Pro and M3 Pro are equipped with up to a 12-core CPU, but the M3 Pro has only 6 high-performance cores and 6 efficiency cores, while the M2 Pro has 8 high-performance cores and 4 efficiency cores. So while the M3 Pro is manufactured with TSMC's 3 nanometers process, compared to 5 nanometers for the M2 Pro, the chip's resulting performance gains are diminished due to it having 2 fewer performance cores. The M3 Pro also has 25% less memory bandwidth and 1 fewer GPU core compared to the M2 Pro. By limiting the M3 Pro's number of high-performance cores, Apple has created more differentiation between the M3 Pro and the M3 Max, which has up to 12 high-performance cores. However, as a result, the M3 Pro is only marginally faster than the M2 Pro. Geekbench 6 results from earlier this week show that the M3 Max is up to 45% faster than the M2 Max, while the standard M3 chip is up to 20% faster than the standard M2 chip, so the M3 Pro is by far the least improved chip of the series. Of course, the M3 Pro is still a significant upgrade for those coming from an Intel-based Mac. M3 Pro is also up to 20% faster than the M1 Pro chip, which is a decent improvement. As always, benchmarks provide a useful reference point, but real-world performance can vary. The new MacBook Pro models are available to order now, and M3 and M3 Pro configurations will begin arriving to customers and launch in stores on Tuesday, November 7th. M3 Max configurations will launch later in November.